What makes OSU Cascades special is the people and the place. The low residency MFA program does have certain goals. It is an enormous commitment, but is it absolutely for the person who is not going to be a hobbyist in their writing life? When you come into this program, they do ask you to decide what genre you'd like to explore. And we have poetry, fiction, creative nonfiction. Once you're in the program, there is a freedom to experiment within all those forms. The writing, the writing practice, the community of writers, literary citizenship is all going to be a part of life going forward in a very serious and a, a way that takes up space in your life. Not only will you become the writer that you are, you will also form a community. And a community is the most valuable piece. You can be someone who is just right out of undergrad, or you can be someone who is retired. We have that range in the program, and we all bring something different to it. And so when you're ready to commit to that time and that dedication, then the time is right for you. The students here are supportive. They are definitely excited, and they're just so thoughtful. There's always thoughtful feedback. They care about where you're going next. I found that my cohort uh, is incredibly supportive. Everyone wants to see each other succeed. That those moments when you're having troubles thinking about how to move forward or what to do next, your peer group and your group with you can help see where the areas that you need help are and move forward. You think a low residency program is just going to work into your life because you are a working person, generally speaking, or you're a person with other obligations. What happens is you wind up adjusting your work life in order to make space because it brings so much into what becomes a real writing practice. The faculty here are very supportive of not just the writer, but the actual students. I felt I was a writer and I wanted to be a writer, but my mentor has opened it's for me to truly become a writer. What is mentorship and what does that mean for a student in the program? And I will say that it's a two-part process. So the workshop process will be the part at which your peers and faculty you know, weigh in on what's happening and what the possibilities are. But where that really gets metabolized is in one-on-one -on -one mentorship. I've found more language to express myself, but also understanding myself better through my writing. It's like excavating. And so the more you write, the more you come to know yourself. This is a really great place to get your ideas organized and have um, members of those communities um, reflect back some of the ideas that you're working through. It's a really generous place, a really creatively healthy place. There's an environment that you can't really put your finger on. The color is different, the air is different, the sounds are different, and this feels like an expansive place. And that is just echoing all the things we want for students in the program. It really is about coming in and finding your voice and figuring out how you can be part of these larger conversations that are going to have ripple effects and span out into the real world. Beyond this program, I would like to always carry the belief that my work is always evolving, and that's okay. I came in really wanting this like completed manuscript, and I'm and I'm getting there. You know, like it, these are the stepping stones I've needed to make that a reality in my life. But walking away from it, I want to remember what it feels like to be in a room of people that just fully understand you and like are cheering you on for what you're doing, and they get it. I think the changes that occur from the beginning of the program, entrance into the program, to exiting the program, is that. One walks in with, um, well, there's the thirst for knowledge, there's the thirst for doing, and there's the thirst for achievement. I'm gonna have a book, I'm gonna make a thing. And what happens at the end of it is you know that your life in the writing practice has just begun. 